Eight. Back again. Time for some more chess. Let's see what we get today. Wonder if I'll be able to test out our new repertoire, which I haven't yet learnt, so it probably won't go very well. No. <laughs> C4. Okay, C4. What do we do against C4? Let's try and get to one of the stonewall structures that I know a little bit. My Dutch defense repertoire. Um. I don't really, this is the English opening, and I don't really have a good weapon against the English. So I'll just go with some standard stuff and take it from there. Get my king to safety. So he's gone with a very solid setup. Now he's gone with d4, which gets it back to my familiarity. I think my normal move is to bring the knight in. Let's go for it. I'm already struggling against these players. It might be that the move is now to take the knight. I have to do something about him attacking my knight. I think the move is to take... I'm going to play this move because I think this move is good anyway. It also puts a simple threat as this and he's missed it straight away. This is going to be a quick game. <laughs> he's going to resign isn't he? Uh, he was playing way too quickly there. I mean, there's no point to even review that, is there? I suppose I can just double check I didn't make a mistake in the opening. I'll probably have a perfect game. 99.8% accurate. I mean, it was... He just blundered straight away. Um, I mean, it was a very even game until he did the blunder. But I think even my... Yeah, Killer Dutch. I think I learned this from Killer Dutch. Which is a course by one of the grandmasters. So he's supposed to castle here. I think the move is supposed to be pawn takes. Actually, says pawn takes is best. And partly it's because of this. Now is is this move be this move is best? <laughs> and then he just blunders because he didn't realise I'm threatening this and. There we go. Well, that was a quick game. <laughs> Let's start a new game, shall we? I mean, recording this for three minutes. Perhaps we will get a repertoire attempt. Right, I'm white. Let's go with my e4. And my knight to f3. Oh, interesting. Now he's doing the Philidor defense against me. I'm just trying to start to learn my trappy repertoire with this. I'm going to go with what I normally play. Right, so he's not doing... I think this is a known variant of the Philidor defense. This I don't actually know that well either. I think I normally take... But it does seem to lead to quite a dry position. Hmm. Do I have any other options? His threat at the moment is to take and then he's on this pawn. So I guess I need to somehow defend that. Hmm. I could just simply defend with my knight like this, I think. Defend this pawn. If he takes, I just retake. And this queen is kind of misplaced. It's blocking his bishop in. I kind of like that, actually. The Philidor defense. So I do want to have a look at 
building my trappy repertoire using that opening, but I play it differently. I think we play this move here instead, but anyway. No, it's for another day. Right, he's come with C6. Hmm. I'm already having to think because I don't actually know what I'm doing now. I'm out of book already. But I don't think his opening is particularly impressive. Now my normal move is to bring my bishop out. Which I think is still good because he still can't do this. What if he brings this out? Might even have push. Wait. Or takes? Hmm. I suppose, I, I mean, I just have to let him develop. He, do, I mean, he could play anything. I guess. I mean, this can't be a bad move. Let's just play it and then see what he actually does. I need to try and not get myself so far down on the clock. And partly it's because I'm thinking, ooh, it's probably a good move. I wanted to do this. He's stopping me. It's a very defensive move. I've got three pieces developed. Can you even call this queen developed? I'm not even sure. I feel like we're doing well already. But I suppose we have to prove it. What options do we have? Castle seems simple. Take? Well, I don't think I want to take at the moment. Like taking just seems to help him. Start expanding. Hmm. I think let's just develop this bishop. Can't be bad. Some more strength here. He's moving his queen here. This can't be good what he's doing. He's moved his queen twice in the opening. I mean, I suppose he has to. He's that here. But now it's in the way of his knight. Giving me all the time in the world. I think I'm just going to develop my queen here. And then maybe even castle this direction. This can't be bad either. Because he is on the knight a little bit. Maybe the bishop down. But do I mind even? He just brings the knight here. Yeah. I feel like we should have a reasonably good position now. He just feels very congested there. Let's castle long. Get my king to safety. We're kind of fully developed, and he's still got all these pieces at home. And this can't even get developed. Interesting. Hmm. How to attack. So now the question is what to do, what's the plan? Simple move is this, but I feel like I don't want to give him time to, to think, really. Hmm. What are my candidate moves? I don't really... I've got here, I've got here, maybe I've got here... Where do I want my rooks? I feel like my position is good. I just don't know quite what to do. Do I have g4 straight away? No, that drops the knight. Don't do that. Hmm. I actually know what to play right now. I 
do have this pressure up here. What happens with take, 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 take. Wait, if all of that happens, I've got checkmate. Wait, so is this something actually? Take. 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 He has to play queen takes, because if he moves the knight, there's checkmate. On queen takes, then I've got f4, surely. Wait, that looks good. That looks really good. Wait, what am I talking about? Take, take, take. No, we can't. Wait. What, am, what am I doing? Take, take. I actually don't have take. What am I talking about? I've only got take if he brings the knight in. So if he takes with a knight, it's really good for me. Definitely. Because then I get f4. What if he doesn't take with a knight? If he just takes with the pawn. What move do I have then? I'm going to take anyway, because I, I mean... I'm spending too much time again. <laughs> oh, nine minutes already. Oh, God damn it. He does take with the pawn. If he had taken with the knight, I think I would have been in a very promising position. I'm not quite sure what to do now, though. Hmm. I could just bring my king across. Ugh, I need to come up with a plan. My position is so good, yet so... I don't know what to do. Is there any other way I can hit this pawn? Because he can't move this knight at the moment. What about a move like this? It doesn't really do anything. Mm. It looks fancy because he can't take it, but it doesn't actually do anything. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm just going to move my king across. I really don't like what I'm doing right now. I, I, I'm struggling to come up with a plan. He's just moving his knight. He's also playing instantly. Why do they always play them instantly? Chases night away. If he comes in here, I think I can just kick him away. Now he's getting developed. Kind of don't mind if he castles that way, because it's where my attack is at the moment. See, where, where's he going when I do this? I guess he can come in and then come back out. I could cover this square again. This knight doesn't really have much scope at the moment. If I stop him from coming in here, if he castles and that kind of traps the knight. Kind of like it, to be honest. I'm not on this square anymore. He's coming with the bishop now. If 
he pushes this, surely this is good. Hmm. Sweden. He's hitting my bishop. I don't have much choice. Here or here. Here seems natural. Mm. Let's just come back here. I'm very conscious that my time is slipping away. I do feel my position's good. It has to be good. I'm better developed. But I just don't see what quite to do. Maybe I can't do this move because my knight's free. Hmm. What is this? This looks shaky. I didn't actually have this square. If I take, he takes, then I kick the knight. I suppose it can come back in here. I don't really want him taking this, and he's also on this at the moment. I kind of have to take it, really. Let's just take it, get it done. He's going to be on this pawn as well. Hmm. It's actually not that easy. It's a fairly complex position. I push and he comes in here. If I hit the bishop, I can take this knight, I can take the bishop. And that looks pretty good, my queen's on a nice diagonal. Here, here. If he takes this pawn, do I have a move? I can take, if he takes with this, I've got pawn push, that kind of looks okay, if he takes with the queen, What do I have? I've got it. Oh no, then this pawn is dropping with check. So that's all good. I suppose he could go back. If I come here, does he have another move? I suppose he could go back with the bishop. I'm out of time. I'm going to go for something along those lines. Let's see where it goes with the knight. Here, here, or here. Here I really don't mind if he goes home. Here I think is okay. Here I think is the challenging one. I could take it. I kind of like coming after these weaknesses. Hmm. How am I down to four minutes? This is not good. I'm I'm taking too long in the opening. Look, it's all me. 
Ooh, uh, white. I don't get how they're playing so well, so quickly. Oh, he's actually come back this way. If I hit this now, if he takes, I am on this pawn. Surely that is good. Hmm. Kind of like that. Let's come in for it. So I'm on this pawn. He doesn't have something simple like this. If he defends like this, it's very loose. He's just defending it like that. Okay. To be honest, I didn't see that move. Damn it. Can I sacrifice my rook now? I'm on the bishop. So if he just takes the, this I'm ahead. So what if he doesn't take this? Well he has to take it, doesn't he? Take, take, take. Surely that's good. Take. Take. Why well, just bring the rope back? I think this might be a blunder, actually. Hmm. Now I'm on this pawn, and I'm stopping him from castling. And we got a bit of material. Not very much, but we're plus material, because... We got a bishop and a knight for a rook. Six for five. Can you even defend this pawn? Problem is, I've only got three minutes to convert this. I probably want to end to the end game if I get an extra pawn. Then I'm plus two just on material count. And he does have some weak pawns. Although my queen's quite a monster at the moment. I can't just take with the knight though, because then he's on this. But perhaps if I bring my rook in, then when I take with the knight, I'm on his bishop. Now he thinks. Interesting. Mm. That is slightly annoying. Do I have anything? I don't really want to let him take this. I take this pawn anyway. It does drop the knight. They do get an attack over here. And I get this pawn. It's probably good actually. Take, take. Take check. He's got to move his king this way. I don't have my rook here. Is the only problem. I've only got two minutes left. I'm going to go for it. We're going in. I think this pawn falls in the end as well. So I'll get a, a load of pawns. But I need to move here. Wait, this is check. And this is undefended. I need to be slightly careful. I can always pull it back. <sighs> I 
Wait, what? He's just given up his queen. It can't be right, surely. And plus quite a lot of material now. And his king is a bit weak. It's not the easiest. I don't have any mining pieces left. It's going to be difficult to exchange stuff is my problem. He shouldn't have allowed this, I don't think. I'm going to have to play on instinct now. I don't have time to think anymore. Check here. Mm. This isn't easy. Let's bring this pawn up. I'm probably going wrong now. Now he's getting his king in. Uh. Let's get my rook up. This pawn is weak. My back rank is weak. I've got problems. I need to solve them. And I've only got a minute and a half. to get this move in to give my king a bit of space. I need to not let him through to the back rank. <laughs> Surprisingly difficult to play. Wait, I've got a check here now. Can I allow that? Will I get my queen trapped? Well, I can take this pawn for now. Wait, can I? Oh god, I'm getting myself in pickle. Here, here, what do I have? I need a safe square for me. I don't think I take this. I don't want the rook coming here and attacking this. Help, help, help. There's got to be a move. There's got to be a move. There's got to be a move. Yeah. I need to get my king out of dodge. I'm going to come back for now. I, I don't like this. I want to be able to take this, but I don't have a safe square to put my queen. I might have to come here. I really need to make space for my king so that... Now if I take and he comes here... Then I can come back, then he comes back. Then I can come here, then he comes in. This is so difficult, this is so tricky! Dare I do it, or I could just come here. Ah, also, I've got no time. I might be getting into big trouble now. I'm letting him get in here, which is probably a mistake, but his king is wide open. Now he's sending checkmate, but now I've got time to give my king space. My rook is... Curious. 
<laughs> this is so stupid. Why? How do I always end up with no time? It's only move 30. I lose this game. It's going to be very depressing. <laughs> oh. It's so easy to blunder in moves like this. But at least now, he shouldn't have let me get this space here. He needs to keep his bishop on this. Wait, what does he do? He's got to bring his bishop all the way back. How do I make progress? I can start bringing my pawns up. He's in a real bind at the moment. My position is crushing. It must be crushing. It's just not easy to prove when you've got 40 seconds. This one, eh? Dare I come forward? I dare. Do I dare? I don't dare. I bring this one forward first. Then I can bring this one forward. Then if he takes it, there's checkmate. He's got this move again. Shit, what have I done? What have I done? I've messed up. He can keep hitting my queen. And I can't stay on the rook. I've messed up. I've blundered. Will he spot it? Oh god, if I have to go for a draw, I can't let him get this rook for free. What have I done? I, I, I needed the queen to be able to come here. I'm an idiot. I might be able to get to this. No, it's check. I'm so screwed. I think he's got a perpetual uh, perpetual attacking my queen. I can't see a way how I can keep hold of my rook. Well, that doesn't help him. I think if he just kept hitting my queen along the rank here, I, I didn't have anywhere to move my queen. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I couldn't see how to defend it. I need to get my rook out of dodge. Now he can't do it. I think he's let me off the hook. Now I'm crushing again. Wait, he's just blundered checkmate. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> goodness me. There, I bet it was a draw. I bet I blundered a draw there. Wait, I didn't. Why is it not letting me do a game review? I thought this was the first game I played today. Oh no, I reviewed that stupid little game at the beginning, didn't I? Ugh, damn it. Right, I am white. I did only nine best moves, he did ten. Oh, they play so well. Five excellent moves, he did six. Sorry buddy, I'm reviewing the game. Five good moves, he did two. I don't get how I how I won the game. Like he's done more good moves than I have. It's because he's blundered. He's made two big. He's made some mistakes. Right. Let's have a look from the beginning then. Apparently, I was winning the whole way through. I want to have a look at that because I I thought I was I thought I blundered. A draw. The computer loves this for white. By the way, I'm not a computer. It doesn't like this move. What the hell? How is this bad? Whatever, I, don't, I mean, that, that's just natural. It's already loving my position. And I was loving my position. I just didn't know what to do with it. I want to get to a key moment. I didn't have to take here. What does the engine want to do? The engine wants to play h4 or takes. So takes is okay. Then it wants to play h4. What did I do? I just moved my king across. It wants to play knight to g5. 
but take take queen oh the queen doesn't have anywhere to go oh that would be cool if I spotted that I didn't spot that but it's only winning a pawn really isn't it that's an interesting wait was that what I played I played h4 come after his king computer didn't quite like it but I'm still doing okay I thought I was doing better than this to be honest but it likes my knight coming back it likes the bishop I mean there wasn't much choice there it really dislikes this move this must be like a blunder and I took it he took it and then I would push, kick the knight. Then he went back. So now I'm plus six. Wow. I mean, it feels good. I'm not sure if it feels that good. Was that the best move? He wants me to just take the pawn. What? Oh, because then it's checkmate. I knew, I said that during the game. I was down to three minutes. I just don't have the time to think of all these possibilities. It likes my rook takes. Queen takes. And what did I do here? It did take. I was thinking for this for a bit. Still down to my three minutes. It really likes that move. I found the best move. Rook to d1, bishop times... Bishop takes f7. Ah, I didn't think about that. So it likes this. Now, I can't quite remember why I did this now. I was saying if he takes the knight here... I get all kinds of... Well, he did take the knight. And then I took with the bishop, which was the best one. And then he took with the queen, which I didn't even think about. I just thought he couldn't take with the queen. But actually taking with the queen I mean, is not that much worse. But I actually got into a bit of trouble here. Wait, what did, where did I go wrong? Because it didn't like what I did. Oh, I missed the in-between move. I got so excited for taking the queen. Wow, look at the difference. Just me missing out on this move makes a huge difference with how easy it is for me to win. I just say, after I did this, I, I, I felt quite still struggling. But partly it's because I've got no time. I took here. Did I ever blunder? I felt like I blundered. Doesn't really like f4. It wants me to go to d7 already. Whatever. I've like literally got a minute and a bit on the clock. Wait, there's a checkmate. I didn't see that. It's coming across here. Taking this. It's undefendable. Damn it. Missed that. How much time did I have then? 1 minute 30. Okay, well, I missed the checkmate. He attacked me. I was scared to take the pawn. Because I was worried about this. And then he's on, on this pawn here. It says I can take this. And then if here. Queen here. And I guess I shouldn't be worried about this, really. Like, he's only grabbing a pawn. I just didn't want to give him chances against my king so I was scared of that so what did I do I just moved back and I wasted a load of time he came after me I then did go for the check because I realized I think I could get to this square and protect the rook which he then covered but that allowed me to play b3 give my king some room he came back It really doesn't like my poor move. <laughs> plus 18 goes to plus 8. I mean, I'm still crushing, but... This is when I thought that I, I've blundered. Because I thought, when he comes here... He can just keep... Wherever I go, he just keeps attacking my queen. But what's the way out of it?
So if he brings his rook here, it says queen to c7. And if he goes back, queen to a7. If he goes back, queen to b7. Wait, what is this? It's not making progress. This will just be a draw. At some point, it's got to do something different, because otherwise it just becomes a repetition. Queen to e4. Saying queen to e4. King takes. Queen to g6. I mean, this does not look good, but somehow I'm winning still. F5. And then somehow these pawns are so strong. That would have not gone well. I would have panicked. I would have taken the draw, probably. How is this winning? He takes. I take. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't fancy playing this with just a minute on the clock. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, does he even have to take? If he doesn't take, it does look scary. But let's just say he comes back. Then he's really screwed, apparently. Queen to g5. King here. F6 threatening checkmate, and if I stop the checkmate, then this is already checkmate. He do, and he doesn't have a move. The pawns are just too powerful, but I would have never found all of that with 30 seconds on my clock. So I, th I still think I've really blundered. It's interesting that the computer still plays around with going back and forth, and then gives up the rook. Yeah, I didn't mean to intentionally give up the rook. So what should I have done before? Wait. He came back. Wait, I shouldn't have moved this pawn forward. This is where I... Because I, I took away the square that I needed. I was thinking about this move. Why didn't I like this move? I thought he was going to come back and then be on this pawn. It's saying just come here. I don't know if I would have played that. What's the point? It's saying I have to check. There's a mate, but what is the mate? Look back. D6, this is the key. And this is the only way to block, and then it's checkmate. <laughs> wow. What a game. Oof. I mean, we were winning. We were winning the whole time, actually, but it didn't, it didn't feel that close. Well, not bad. Two games in one. One, a very quick one, and another win here, which felt a little bit more shaky. And I think if he had played a little bit more decisive in the end game there, he would have gotten a draw out of it because I think I would have gone for the repetition with 30 seconds on the clock and sacrificing the rook. It's not obvious that I'm winning. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Good one.